Good morning. Happy Friday. Thank you for being here in Patreon and engaging with me on this course. I really appreciate it. We have over 140 something, maybe over 150 now, members in Patreon. Folks, that's cult numbers. I am stoked. I'm I'm doing my best not to let this shit go to my head. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's Kool-Aid numbers, baby. No. But no, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I want to talk about investing in yourself. And I want to talk about what that means and what that looks like. Um, because I got a message this morning here on Patreon that kind of threw me for a bit of a loop. Okay, I'm just going to say it. Not trying to call anybody out, but at the same time, I'm just, I don't understand. Okay, like my brain... I can't comprehend, I need to understand, I've asked, so maybe I'll get a good uh, response. But in the meantime, I just want to say that investing in yourself, they say it all the time in self-help, they're like, invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself. 99 times out of 100, that's some guru being like, give me money so that you can improve your life, okay? And I want to be very clear about this. Investing in yourself has nothing to do with spending money. Spending money can be a way to invest in yourself, and that can definitely help. And I start to understand people's thinking and reasoning about that, which I'll go into in just a second. But investing in yourself means giving yourself the time, which is a way, way more valuable resource. We, only all, we all have the same amount of time, right? Right? Some people have more money than others, right, to invest. But we all have the time that we have to invest. Now, we can do that in a number of ways. There's a lot of ways to do that. So if you're here and you've got access to taking this course, which I'm putting my money where my mouth is on a free course that's taken me 12 years to accumulate this knowledge, and I can't even tell you how many thousands of dollars that I've spent in self-help. It's stupid. With no, you know, no, that's a sign of no, no, that's not changing either, by the way. I spend more every year in self-help, in, in money, financially. But I'm also sitting down to do the fucking work. And that is what investing in yourself really means, okay? Imagine having a genie come out of a bottle and the genie's like, okay, I'll give you three wishes and you can even ask for more wishes. And you're like, no, I'm good. Nah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good here. I cannot for the life of me fathom that. Okay. If you're here and you have the opportunity and you have the time to take this course with me, I highly encourage you to do it. Even if you already know what your purpose is, even if you already understand pendulums, even if you read Transurfing more times than I have, if you can teach a course on purpose, I still recommend taking this course with me while you're here and you have the opportunity. And I'll tell you why. I've taken several courses on purpose. The last course that I took on purpose was bullshit. And I was so excited about it. It was from someone that I look up to and admire very, very, very much. It's someone that I can't even afford to work with. They're in another realm as far as finances go. And I was so excited. I, was, I could not wait. Because like purpose is my thing, right? Like finding your goal, that's my thing from Transurfing. When I found that, I was like, I got to figure this out. I'm obsessed. And last night I was on a live stream on Instagram and, you know, Barry show popped in, uh, a cur the curated tastemaker, follow her, find her on Instagram. Her content is phenomenal. She's on TikTok and Substack too. find her stuff. It's really good. It really, really lines up with the trans surfing stuff and the ideas of finding your goal. Okay. And I'm on the, the stream and I'm, I'm talking because someone's like kind of bitter and upset because they've given so much and been, you know, um, uh, taken advantage of or whatever, right? Because they didn't have adequate boundaries. Okay. 
And honestly, I know that plight very, very well. I've done the same thing. And ultimately, it comes back to us and our own uh, ability to, or inability really, to recognize that people are not giving us, not reciprocating, right? That's not their fault, really. It's, it's probably a covert contract, some expectation that we placed on someone else to give us something in return for something that we've given. If you give something away, it's a gift. There should be no strings attached. That's what giving is. And I am giving this course out and I, I don't have really any expectations, okay, on anybody. In fact, if you have feedback or whatever, I'm going to tweak this course. I'm going to, I've got other courses too that I'm really excited about. I'm going to put those out there, but I cannot for the life of me understand why someone would be like, okay, well, I th- hey, thanks for this, but I'm not going to do it. Why? You don't, you don't value yourself enough. Like, I don't care about me and my validation, uh, as far as like the course, right? Like this is me laying it out on the line. I'm giving it away for free. It's kind of like going to a free comedy show. You know, people just don't appreciate it often. You know, if you pay $10 and see the same comedy show, they're like, that was hilarious. They come in for free. And they're like, eh, it was okay. It wasn't as good as Netflix. Well, what the fuck do you expect, man? You know, like, I just don't, I just don't understand. Like, imagine, I, okay. okay, so back to my thing. I was taking, I took a purpose course from someone that I admire and it literally still do, would totally still work with this person in another capacity. Took their conference, went to their conference and had my mind absolutely fucking blown blown out shit that I've never heard shit that I had never even conceived or thought of was taught at this conference blew my mind but the purpose stuff the purpose course that I took from the same creator was trash it had nothing in it there were no exercises there was nothing insightful about it. It was just pandering and talking and la, 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 and sign up for something else. Essentially, it was an upsell. That's all the course was. So what I realized after I took the conference with this person and after I took the purpose course with this person was that I had an insight and an ability that no one else has, or at least I don't want to say that. That's probably a little smarmy, but I have an ins- I have a particularity, a pure, particular curiosity and set of tools that are very specific that that I have put together. Let me just say that. I'm not going to say that I'm better than anybody and not that's not the case, but you know, we all get different things from different people, but I've had such a compulsion around this particular topic for so long. 12 years, 12 years worth of shit compiled and squeezed into, compressed into a toothpaste tube for you to just, you don't even have to chew, right? And I'm like, here, here you go. And I hope that you will take the time to invest in yourself. Take the time to sit down for 10 minutes. Watch the video for 10 minutes and sit down and reflect. It's all about reflection. You go into all the Buddhist stuff, all the Hindu stuff. It's literally all self-inquiry. All of it. It's self-inquiry. Exercises are meant to facilitate self-inquiry. And you know what? If you can't figure it out, we can tease it out. We can hop on a call for an hour and we'll we'll figure it out. But you're not going to get any results without any effort. And one of the things that this guy said that I really looked up to in their conference was that when you don't pay for something, you don't value it. Now, I don't want to believe that, okay? Because there's many other ways to invest in something. 
than money. Now, money often, it comes with a very uh, high uh, value set from us because we have a limited amount of it. But those of us who aren't like super well to do don't really understand the value that time has. Time is way, way, way more valuable than money. Money can be lost and regained. Time will never, ever be regained. So if you're here, I'm hoping that you will bet on yourself, invest in yourself with the time that it takes to sit down and just do this. I've done these fucking exercises dozens of times. I could show you guys an entire drawer full of notebooks in my desk right now that I'm looking at that are full of writing exercises, morning pages, speculation, jokes, depressed fucking ramblings. Like you can't even know how much time I've spent on this shit. And for me to take years of stuff and be like, okay, let me, let me shortcut you a decade. And then people have the audacity to be like, nah, probably not going to take it. (laughs) I mean, it's fine. Like I'm not hating. I'm not like, I don't take it personally. It's just funny. It's funny to me. Right. And I want to bet on you. I want you to succeed. I want you to fulfill your goal. I want you to understand what your goal is. First of all, you can't fucking do it if you don't know what it is. So let's start at ground zero, square one, and let's figure it out together. Like that's what I'm giving here. I'm giving the best that I have. Someone on the stream last night was like, you really should charge more. I'm like, yeah, more than zero. (laughs) You're exactly right. I know. And I've done coaching and been in this industry for some time and I've had a decent amount of success with it. But what you guys don't see is the amount of success that I've had outside of this industry, which I'm not trying to brag. 99% of the people in this industry just brag and brag and brag and brag about shit. And frankly, it's fucking repulsive. They'll be sitting in a hammock in Hako being like, let me teach you how to make 50 grand a month of the coaching business that's automated with AI. And I'm like, you're a fucking shyster. You're a hack. You offer nothing. You offer zero value. You're just a t- taking. You're just taking from people and lying to them. And it's good marketing. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really good marketing. So when we can tell you, oh, I'm going to teach you your highest purpose of life and all this stuff. And then you get in there and it's just them fucking pandering and blah, 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 And it's like, man, what I have to offer, I realize is unique and it has its own value. And it may not be valuable to you. Like I'm not trying to push this on everybody. I'm not saying what I've put together is for everybody. It's not, it's not. Some, some people are going to resonate with me. Some people are not. That's fine. You know, not a big deal. I'm not upset. I'm not offended if you don't jive with my shit, but I don't understand why you wouldn't put the time in to discover your purpose. Why wouldn't you put the time in to understand and uncover your authenticity, your true goal, your connection to source. Why wouldn't you do that? I imagine Jesus is standing there and he's like, I'll offer you eternal salvation. And then you're like, "Eh, I'm good. You're like, I'm fine. I'll pass. I'll just hang out here in hell. It's fine. No big deal. He's like, no, eternal salvation, no strings. And you're like, eh, it sounds like a good deal, but I'm going to pass on this one. It's like, what the fuck, man? Are you kidding me? I'm I'm a little jacked up, guys. I'm not going to lie, okay? I'm on coffee. I'm on semen retention. I am a little bit keyed up. And I'm also really excited. I'm super excited to have you all in here. It's cool to be able to connect and to actually engage. You know, I haven't had this much engagement in the Facebook group. I think that's in part because Facebook's algorithms and stuff. I don't really like Telegram, if I'm being candid. I've just never really enjoyed it. 
we've had a discord server that's been good at times and then people will come in and I let uh, too many people in probably and uh, and the vibe gets off, you know? So I'm learning about that kind of stuff and I'm really happy to have Patreon lighting up right now. And I'm going to be adding some stuff to this. And because I believe that investing in yourself is beyond financial, then I'm willing to work with people who don't have the financial means that they wish they they did. I know what that feels like. I'm very well aware of what it feels like to not have the means. But if you don't have the means, you better fucking make up for that shit. Everything that I've ever done in business has been pure hustle. I haven't had investors. I haven't had a board to vote on shit. I went out there and I fucking pounded and pounded and pounded away at the pavement. That's all I had. I would find rich people that I could work with and partner with. And then I would do all the work. When I did my Airbnb business, and I started that in 2018, doing Airbnb arbitrage before it was called that, I called it paid vacation because I would find rich people who had homes and I would say, hey, I'll rent your house out when you're not using it on Airbnb. You'll come for your vacation. You'll have a check on the desk and a clean home at your property. And we'd go and we'd pressure wash their house and we'd clean their pool and we'd fucking scrub the baseboards and I'd take pictures and I'd publish it and put it on Airbnb and do all of the things, everything, everything. I would deal with the clients and the people who are trying to scam all that shit. I did every single step and that was me investing in myself. I didn't have money. I didn't have any money, but you know what? I did have time. I did have motivation. I did have, you know, the resources to be able to, the faculties to be able to go in and scrub a fucking floor. I scrubbed a floor two days ago. Two days ago, I'm, in, I'm, I'm doing callbacks for my cleaning business. You know what I mean? Which I'm very close to walking away from. <laughs> Thank God. It's been, you know, not that much fun. I'm sure you can imagine, guys, I'm not passionate about baseboards. I'm passionate about you. I'm passionate about your development. I'm passionate about bringing things into the market that are creative and unique and mind-blowing and cool. And I know I don't have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, but 99% of the people who do paid for those people. They're paying 10 grand a month to an agency so that robots subscribe to their fucking channel. It's all a fake facade wall in most cases, okay? Now, there are some people that legitimately have, you know, that type of a, a following, but it's nine times out of 10, more than that even, not organic at all. It's invested. There's people funding it, et cetera. Okay. I'm not a fan of doing things that way. So I might have a humble six or seven K or whatever on YouTube and you know, not a whole lot of, uh, engagement over there. I don't, I don't really understand why that's dropped off, but whatever I'm using the tools that I have. I've got an incredibly engaged audience on Instagram. You guys are engaging here in Patreon and I cannot thank you enough. I'm not asking you guys, by the way, to show your work here. I'm not asking. I'm just showing mine. If you want to show your work, you can. It's up to you. Or you can just share an insight. Like I figured it out. I found my purpose. I figured something out. I learned a new thing. You know, I'm just, I want to I want to be able to provide you with the tools that are going to make a difference in your life. I care. I actually do care. You know, I have friends in this group. I have friends who I've known 20 fucking years and they're taking this course. I'm taking it. I have friends who sit at my feet and ask me business advice who have families of four and five children and they are asking me, Owen, oh, what do I do next? And I'm advising them. I'm advising whole families. That's how much they believe and trust in the work that I've done. Okay. It's not me. It's the amount of information that I've accumulated over the past decade plus 
That is what they're asking me for. They're asking me for that knowledge, that wisdom, that which I have through blood, sweat, and tears, and fucking hustle, and pounding the pavement accumulated over time. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing incredibly unique about me other than what, what God, you know, how God, you know, set up this avatar. Nothing different from me to you, to the person on the street, to the NPC. It doesn't matter. None of those things are relevant. But what I do have is the experience that I've gained through failure upon failure upon trial and error and a little bit of success. That's what I have. And I'm offering it for free, 100% free on the live stream. Like, you should charge more. I'm like, yeah, more than zero. Yeah, I should. But you know what? I would rather work with people who have the fucking balls and courage to invest in themselves at a deep level than someone who's going to pay me a bunch of money and be like, oh, that's cool. Thanks. And then they're gone. I've worked with a lot of different types of clients. And obviously, I got to make money too. I got to keep my lights on. I got to keep my rent paid. I'm trying to, you know, grow and learn in the world of comedy. And that's been a, a fucking struggle. That's a really hard industry. Really hard. But you guys don't see some of the stuff that I do that I don't share here. You don't know what's in the background work that I'm working on, right? And some of that stuff will come to the forefront eventually. And I'm excited to share it. But in the meantime, it's kind of fun not to, not to even worry about that. But I'm going to start with some mentorship levels here on Patreon. I'll probably start adding those in the next few days. I'm going to be absent from the chats on Saturday and probably Sunday as well. But I'm going to pick back up with module four on Monday and continue to go through this course. Like you don't have to go through it in a week, right? Like you can, it's seven days, but you don't have to do it seven days in a row. And if something is, you know, particularly challenging you, or um, if something is uh, a little bit evasive, then give yourself some more time to think about it and ponder it, you know, take your time with it. And you don't have to do it now either, but just, I can't believe that someone would be like, Hey, I, I see all the work that you did. Thanks for that. I'll pass. I just, I, I don't understand it. I'm hoping that there's an actually a, like a really good reason. And then I'm going to have to like fucking delete this whole podcast, but it's just funny to me that if someone were to give you pretty much, you know, whatever it was that would really propel you forward, right? Like, Hey, I've struggled a lot, um, in whatever realm that is. And I've learned a lot of things about this particular idea or process. And I want to give you a shortcut for free to be able to implement based on the mistakes that I've made. And here it is. It's all laid out for you. All you have to do is follow it. And then you're like, ah, I'm good. I'll just chill here. Like you're stuck on a desert island. There's a fucking cruise ship that pulls up full of food and water and booze and party hats and, you know, whatever. Beautiful members of the opposite sex. You know what I'm saying? And you're on the desert island. You're like, nah, I'm good. I'll just kick it here. Okay, cool. Totally fine. And I'm clearly not miffed about it, <laughs> but I said I was miffed. I admitted that the miffedness, but I want to see people grow. I want to see people do the thing that they're here to do. I want to take that joy. I want to celebrate with you. When you find your goal and your life becomes a celebration, I want to be there blasting the trumpets and throwing confetti in the air like, fuck yeah, we did it. Hell yeah, you did it. And I want to celebrate you. Right? That's what it's about. That's what it's a fucking about, man. So I'm going to add a couple of things here in the next few days. 
um, one-on-one mentorships from me, and I will guide you along with whatever projects that you're doing. I have a pretty diverse range of experiences at 42 years old. Okay. I've been a producer in Hollywood. I've been a tree farming business owner. I owned a cleaning business, still do. Um, you know, I've owned, I've done coaching. I've done well with it. Uh, I've done a YouTube channel, podcast, Instagram. I'm a comedy producer. I produce live events. I'm doing digital content now for that brand. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot of things that I don't, that you don't probably see cause I'm doing other things that aren't really related to this particular part of my life. Okay. So with that range of experience, I want to be able to leverage it and I want to be able to help other people. I have benefited tremendously from coaches. I've often had a hard time finding coaches that I actually wanted to work with. That's been the biggest difficulty for me. And nine times out of 10, the ones that I've wanted to work with were too expensive for me to be able to afford at the time. I couldn't find a way to incentivize them. I found ways to to make myself attractive to certain um, rich people who had properties when I was doing Airbnb. I was able to do that. And I even had one client in 2023, which we ended that relationship, but I really didn't want to do that business anymore. It was just taking up so much bandwidth and it was, you know, some good money, but man, when you, when you split everything with somebody who doesn't do anything, it's kind of frustrating, (laughs) but anyway, I'm going to add those things and I'm going to add, probably uh, an access to my mastermind as well, which is my own private network of people. And that's not going to be cheap, but I will add that as an offer, as an option for some people. Now, if you are not really in a financial position, then I'm going to add an offer for you, right? That's reasonable. It's still going to cost money, but I'll add an offer that's reasonable that someone, and it'll be limited, Essentially, it'll be like a scholarship offer. You know, here's like a discounted price for this particular thing. If you have means, then don't don't purchase that. You know, I'll have things that are, uh, everything's gonna be reasonable, but like I'll have different tiers of offerings that I'm gonna add here in Patreon. And so I'm gonna take on some, some mentees And I'm working with my mentor who is an absolute genius and I'm happy to share everything that I learned from her. Not to mention the other people that I've had the opportunity to work with and and who have sincerely impacted my life, right? Like I've taken, I've taken dozens of courses. I've been a part of so many of these type of um, programs that I understand what it's like to be coming into something like that, but I want to work with people one-on-one. I want to literally like customize your success for you, whatever it is that you're working on. And if I don't have the insight and information or the resources or references or people that I could refer you to, then I'll just let you know that I'll just be like, Hey, I don't know anything about this industry. I don't know how to help you with, you know, insurance or what, I don't know, whatever, fill in the blank if it's something that I just don't have any inkling of knowledge for. But I do have a good amount of experience in uh, personal branding and growing followings and doing those types of things. Um, You know, I've just never sunk five or $10,000 into my YouTube channel a month, you know? Anyway. All right. This was a long one. I didn't mean to go this long and I know I'm a little keyed up, so I hope you like it. Actually, I hope you dig that. And if it's a little polarizing and I put you off, well, you know, it happens. We're not, you know, not not everybody resonates. Not everything resonates. If you're here, I hope you'll do the work, do the course. It's free. I spent 12 years on it. If you don't, that's fine too but I can't imagine why you wouldn't. I'm doing it again, and I'm enjoying doing it with you. Thank you for being here. Much love.
Love is all there is.